You said if there's no proof of cheating, would you just come out and be like, yo, listen, I cheated on you. And I feel like as a woman, as anybody, if there's no proof, it's not really cheating. It's only cheating if you get caught. If you don't get caught, deny, deny, deny. Because if you go and tell this man, oh, you know, I was having sex with another man, or I was doing this, believe me, he's never gonna look at you the same. I love you, I'm protecting you by lying to you. No. I definitely lied. And it wasn't and it wasn't really because I respected them and I was protecting them. I did it because I was a coward and I couldn't give them the honesty because I I did not want them to leave me because I was so wrong. There is a possible second chance for that girl. Versus the lie. Possible. Lying. If you yeah. lie to me in my face and I know you're fucking lying, you have zero, zero chance. Relationship. Relationship. Yeah. If Danny cheats and she lies about it and lies about it. She's not a good woman for this relationship. She's not a good girlfriend. Wait, 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 She's wait, not wait, a wait, good wait, wait. wife. I agree, because at the end of the day, I don't want to be honest because I don't want to lose the person that I <laughs> Yo, love. That's crazy. What? No. <laughs> Yo, I don't want to be honest because I don't want to lose the person I love. But the person that you love, listen, karma is fucking real, Danny. And the person that, you're lo that you love is going to leave you regardless. Hey guys, welcome back to It at the Table. And we are back with a great episode and you don't wanna miss this. It's gonna get so juicy. Yes, today we're gonna be talking about would you confess to cheating? So Danny, let's say like your guy, he says he has proof. He says he has hardcore evidence that you was messing around. He said he has the text messages, he has video proof. Would you confess to cheating? Honestly, for me, even if you call me in the ad, I will act like it's not me. I will act like I'm getting raped. Toxic. What? <laughs> Wait, how talking about you in zero to 100? That's your man. Why are you raping you? I'm just saying, if I get caught cheating, what? let's just say he walked in me, he walked in on me, having oh, sex with another <laughs> dude, I will act like I'm being raped. Get off of me! Get off of me! Like, oh, I would wow. never, as a woman, you should never admit to cheating or confess to cheating. Even if it, you get caught in an act, deny, deny, deny. It's not me, it's my twin sister. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, men are not as forgiven as you think. If you tell a man, you, so you cheat, yeah. So you think lying in the moment, <laughs> you're gonna be more forgiven? It, it, a lot of times, a man be like, okay, just tell me the truth and I'm not going to leave you. But the you. truth is right but there. But the truth is, he probably, he just is in his mind. You don't really know. Somebody that know their energy and their attitude. No, no, but I said he came with proof. Yeah, he, he has proof. you on video. Yeah. And he can clearly see it's you. You're enjoying it. You're not being raped. You're not being assaulted or anything like that. It's my twin sister. So I would never admit to wow. cheating. Um, I don't think, no, I would never do that because what, 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 what? So let me ask you this. Do you think a man should be honest <laughs> now? He gets caught cheating. Should have, nobody should never confess to cheating. I feel like, <laughs> what? <laughs> what the hell? Yo, Danny, I thought you was one of the real ones. Yo. It is, what, but why confess to cheat? I feel like there's certain things if you really love somebody. What? No, but like, here's the she thing, right? It all. I, all right, my, here's my thing. <laughs> if they got... All right, if you can Ooh. prove, hold on, hold on. If you can prove, what is it, beyond a reasonable doubt yeah, that yeah. it's not you, yeah. deny. But if it's hardcore cool. evidence, like let's say it's in my phone and, and, and my girl is like, I'm reading the text messages that y'all were just fucking and how great it was last week. There's no running from it. You got to take that on a chin. I'm never confessing to cheating. Wow. That's just me. My thing is, if you got evidence against me, you got to show me. Yeah. You like, got to show me. You just said he showed you. What, what no, you mean? I said he had it. I said he had it, and he's giving you the opportunity uh -huh. to tell him the truth without showing you, like, here, this is what I have. He has it for himself. He just, with this evidence, he comes to you, and he says, Danny, is there anything you want to tell me? Have you been cheating on me? Let me know the truth. Because he already has something, but you gotta show me that you got proof that I was cheating on you. Because if you don't show me nothing, I'm just gonna assume you're bluffing. You probably have a little inkling that I'm cheating, so you could say whatever you want. But if you don't show me you got proof, I'm not gonna say anything and out myself. I'm not saying nothing. I, yeah, but like you could, like my thing is okay, so y'all could just walk around. This this scares me when I hear this, by the okay. way. Okay. So, Let's hear what's scary for you guys. Y'all ladies could just walk around your man and kiss your man and hug your man and sleep with your man knowing that another man was just beating your brakes off. Yes. Just like y'all. 
Do? Yeah, yeah, y'all do do all king. the time, y'all ladies. King. I'm a king. You a king? But wait, I'm a king. But hold on, let me let me add, let me answer this. I, I'm a firm believer. When somebody asks you, look, that question, they usually have the proof. And I, I hear what you're saying. Nah, sometimes they be insecure as fuck. Yeah, no, it'd be, but, it, it'd no, be but insecurity. It don't wait, be real stuff. Though, but wait, but like like Amanda said, you need. You know what? I'm a, I'm gonna tell myself. I'm like, yes, I did cheat. Not just giving up info, but if they ask me, hey, you got something to tell me? No. You sure? No. Oh, um, did you cheat on me? What? What's that? And then they really broke down the day and time. Like, fuck. Yeah. Forget the phone. Like, you literally just said the date and the time, what I was wearing. Come on. I don't have a twin brother. Like, come on. I'm gonna admit. And then you know what? Why I would admit to? Because it's like I want to get in front of it. I was already doing my dirt, and I feel like there's a way to salvage it, because then it's like you're playing them. You're looking in the face and like spinning them. It's like you're saying this is like a cake, but it smells like shit, but you're telling me it's a cake. No, it's shit. So you can't dress it up. So I'm going to admit to hopefully salvage it. At least we'd be friends or something. But let me tell That's you something, me. Oliver. You're already playing them. Like you lie, yeah. you lie into their face when they ask you about cheating. That's not I'm the not play. Lying. That's not the play. The play was when you cheated already. Thank you. So it's, there's no point in giving up yourself to say, all right, that's disrespectful. I don't want to play her because obviously she knows. Something. I don't want to play anymore. Just because she gave you what she was wearing, the time and the day, she probably said her friend saw you walk into some girl house that day, that time. She don't got no proof that you did anything. That's my cousin house. That's my mom's friend house that she <laughs> sent me over there to go point. drop something off. So you giving yourself up because you don't want to play, like you feel guilty in that moment. You don't feel guilty for cheating. And that's where it goes back to what will make a person tell. It could be guilt, right? For like all the times I've been doing dirt and I'm like, yo, I'm gonna quit while I'm ahead. I'm not good at that game. This is just me. What about you? I oh, hear you. Wait, wait, I want to hear what you guys say. You've been very quiet. Okay, so I, I look like you cheated I'm right now. So I know you cheated. You cheated right now. I know you cheated, Crystal. You look like you cheated right now. I wanted to tell you, Crystal, I know you cheated. So tread <laughs> carefully. <laughs> I'm Tread a, carefully and be honest. I'm yeah, a drink Crystal, what's, what's going on? What's going on? No, I'm listening to how you guys are addressing the situation. Uh -huh. For me personally, like, I... I'm going to confess if I did, because I couldn't feel right. And that's just me. Like, respectfully, I just feel like it depends if it's, like, shown. You know, if it's shown and it's, like, something's off, like, he feeling off. Like, I got I to gotta just put that to bed. You know, I got to put that to bed. And whatever happens, happens. That's just how I feel about it. What about, all right, so let's, let's, let's all right, I feel like it's easy to confess when you're caught. Like, everybody, even criminals do that, right? <laughs> you know what? You got me. I'm on camera. I can't argue it. So now let's be real, right? Because y'all probably have cheated. So if you are cheating on, or you have cheated on your spouse, significant other, can you confess without there being addressed with proof? Like, I'm talking about a skeptical ass, like, hey, have you ever did anything before? Like, and you're like, no, never. Or you can be like, yo, you know what? One time I did do something like three years ago, a year ago, when, when you got me mad as fuck and we had a separation for like, we didn't talk for that two oh, weeks period. On them. Uh -huh. I might fuck that's it. That's, 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 that's what I do. That's what I do. Right. Right. I, I that. believe Rico, Rico, that's my whole thing. <laughs> if there's no proof, if there's no proof of you just thinking or we're talking, I would never, that's what to my dead mom, I would never tell a man I have another man. I was having sex with another man. Unless, like, if there's no proof, just deny it. Like, so if, it there, doesn't okay, know, if there is proof and you cannot But he, he, you just said, if there's no proof, would you admit to cheating? You said, if there's no proof of cheating, would you just come out and be like, yo, listen, I cheated on you. And I feel like, as a woman, as anybody, if there's no proof, it's not really cheating. It's only cheating if you get caught. You know what I'm saying? Nah, possibly. It's really only cheating if you get caught. If you don't get caught, if, as a woman, it's even worse. If you don't get caught, deny, deny, deny. Because if you go and tell this man, or oh, you know, I was having sex with another man, or I was doing this, believe me, he's never going to look at you the same. And you just mess up for yourself. If you want to go and tell a man you cheated, go ahead and do that. But I would never sit there in my right mind. I'm not on drugs. I'm not drunk. To be like, oh, you know, I cheated on you. I was, I was giving another man awful sex. I was, you know, throwing it back to another man for what? Like, I love you. I'm protecting you by lying to you. 
You no. know, me telling you the truth is me being disrespectful to Why you. Why did you protect him when you just... Because it's love. Sometimes love hurts. And the only a way to what protect you is not telling you the truth. But I don't why, want your but why didn't you... I do not want your love. Okay, then, 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 then stay lonely. Stay lonely. No, no, I'll stay away from you. Okay. No, no, no. <laughs> it comes from lies and cheating. Oh, but wait, keep it's something I want to hear about you. Okay. You look like you're cheating right now. What? Because <laughs> I just... I to say on the topic because I mean I have okay what for me do? where you guys are have coming you ever from, cheated before I have not so that's have why I can't really confess but if I was to confess to cheating have you been cheated on have I been cheated on I'm not, mm, I don't know I don't know all the facts so you know I've caught I'm the type I'm gonna do my research okay mm -hmm. so I've caught I found some evidence but it wasn't like concrete yeah you know it wasn't concrete so, so I couldn't fully it? It was dismissible. It was done. Like it was dismissable. It was. It you was. Fucking? I did not. After that, oh, nah, oh. we stopped. Oh nice. Okay. Yeah, but I we didn't... stopped for a period. Let me wait. We stopped for a period because oh, I'm gonna just keep it real because I'm, I feel like people on this couch is capping just a little bit. Damn just a little bit. I never, I never told a guy. And I, I, not, I had two men at the same time, and he was like, "You could literally Ooh. tell me Ooh, if you're okay. having sex with another man." And I looked at him straight in my face, like, "Is a good?" I'm like, "No, I did not. I will never be able to tell another man that I respect that I've been bending over for another." But you don't man. respect but him because you're open. bending over. I mean, but that open. was that's like literally it's open. not an open, open. relationship. Open. Oh, you said you. Did. Oh, he did. But that no, was no, really no, but I'm, I, I, I just don't got the. Okay, that's the thing. Yeah, yeah, I think I'm bugging, but I don't have the strength within me to look at a man that I care for. But you for got the strength to fuck two guys at the same time. You got strength. It's selective. <laughs> you, got <laughs> you got strength to take two dicks, but you can't tell one lie. Two dicks, one lie. Two dicks, one lie. You know, that's the thing, Oliver. Right. You, 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 you're one looking one at me right. as like I'm a bad person. I'm not a bad person. I just feel like. That's your conscience. That's a cheating like, conscience. No, no, I'm, not, I'm not a bad person. I just feel like if I love you, I got to protect you. Me not telling you is not me being. No, I'm, I'm being disrespectful if I tell you because I'm like, if I love you, I got to protect you and your feelings. What made you cheat in the first place? Let's go back to that. People cheat for different no. reasons. But what would make you not walk away? Why not be like, what would make you, why, why not walk away? Why cheat? Why not? Because, listen, Oliver. Short version. No, people, you, that's what you confuse at. Just because you cheat doesn't mean the person that you with is not treating you the right way. People cheat for different reasons. People cheat for temptation, for boredom, for financial reason, for every type of thing. You know what I'm saying? If I'm cheating, I'm, oh, 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 penis size, or it's not, you know, I fuck with you, but your dick is a little too small for me, and there's somebody else that's giving to me like I want, but I still love the conversation you give me. I still love the protection, the financial freedom that I get with you. The only thing is bad is the sex. Yeah, I might get some dick somewhere else but that doesn't mean I don't love my man and if I love and respect my man I'm never gonna hurt you like that I might just stop messing with the person I'm I'm, I'm cheating with quietly let them go and honestly a real cheater let me be honest with you Oliver a real cheater if you cheat if you cheat and get caught you don't respect your partner you don't respect okay, your partner you at all. For that. I won't say you don't respect. respect your partner. I say you're so I'm gonna cheat, cheat with respect I'm gonna cheat respect for you I will I'm say this cheat there's with a right way to do the wrong thing Yes. I give you that, but I'm not, but I'm a lead. But I do, if you do cheat, don't bring an SCD home. Don't bring the outside baby home. Don't pillow talk. I give you that I, much. I agree. I fuck with That's a condom. The only don't thing. pillow talk. Don't pillow talk. Being like, if Danny's my girl, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm I'm messing with you. I'm not going to talk shit about Danny to you. That's pillow talking. That's what some men do. No, There's that's shit so on their main girl. And you're like, oh, she's whack. And then, mm -hmm. you know, so. I did that. I said on my main girl with my side bitch. Yeah, because I wasn't fucking with my main bitch. Oh, fuck that bitch. Don't worry about her. She's she whack. I don't See? fuck that. But then, you know, I got back with her. I had that to, you know, sense. revisit those conversations. I'm like, yo, but you know what? You got me mad. So that's why I was doing what I was doing. I'm not going to sit here and, and cap and say, hey, Rico, have you cheated and been honest every time you cheated? No. I definitely lied. And it wasn't and it wasn't really because I respected them and I was protecting them. I did it because I was a coward and I couldn't give them the honesty because I I did not want them to leave me cuz I was so wrong. So what I'm going to say is if when it comes to respect, do not cheat and think that I'm respecting you by cheating in private, cheating and not being sloppy and cheating and not telling you. That's not respect. That's all disrespect on three or four different levels. Now, if you're going to cheat, my thing is if you're going to cheat and then try to be respectful about it, the best thing you can do is be honest. That's the only way you can be respectful about cheating. But think about it. When you cheat sometimes, sex could just be sex. You get what I'm saying? Listen, right? When I cheat, when I say I have a respect level, like I'm not going to let a man 
that I'm cheating with come in my face. I'm not going to do that. Right. I'm not going to I'm not going to do ain't no with a man that I'm cheating with. I'm going to just let him me bend, bend me over or whatever the case may be. I'm not going to be rubbing his cum on me, whatever. That's the respect level I'm talking about. Yeah, I don't feel like cheating is only <laughs> sex. Like, you can simply just be having casual conversation and every day and like about. catching feelings for someone else like just through text messages and y'all probably link up a time or two for dates or whatever mm -hmm. and maybe all you've ever done was kiss this person but mm -hmm. that's still cheating that's i agree worse. It, no that's i agree that's worse. that is worse i agree wait so i have to tell this man that you know I had, I had sex with somebody. Do you know how disrespectful it is to have sex with somebody else? What would you else? do is the question. Are you Answer. still going to lie, Danny? Are you yes, still going to lie? Be honest. Be true to yourself. Okay. What would I do? Leave me. I don't want to... I'm not going to admit to cheating. I'm, I don't think it's something I could do. It's not in me. I'm not as strong as you guys. Or, I, you know, I'm a very, like, loving person. And I don't want to... I feel like... I can't look at somebody that I love and see them hurting. You know what I'm saying? Me... Admitting you to don't cheating. Want them to see you as a cheater. No, I don't want to see them hurting. No, you don't want them to see. No, you as a I, cheater. I don't. It's not that I don't want them to see me as a cheater. I could take being a cheater. Okay, having sex with somebody else is something that's so simple. Having other conversation with somebody else is something that's so simple to me. It's nothing. But what I can't take is to see somebody that I actually love, and I done hurt them already, and now I'm going to open my mouth here. Yeah, I did have sex with yeah, a different but Danny, man. But they're coming to you, and they already hurt know. Them more? If you keep lying about it, he already knows. And all he wants you to do is be okay. truthful about it so you guys can move on with your relationship. All right, but so because you keep lying, he has no choice but to leave because you cheated and, and now you're, you're continuing to lie to me. Honestly, you're hurting him more honestly, than you. Okay, honestly, if it's done something like if I don't come clean with whatever I'm doing or he's going to leave, just leave. I, I, I take the L because well, we I already phone. messed up. I already, I already did something wrong. So I'm gonna take my pain. I'm, I'm gonna leave. I'm not gonna, I'm, I'm not gonna hurt you. Like I already hurt you too much. Matter of fact, you could leave, but I'm not gonna sit there and be honest to keep you because after I'm honest with you <laughs> and you stay with me, it's not gonna be the same type of love. You're not gonna look at me the same. You could leave. I'm not. I'm made to change. I was I'm, I'm not gonna, gonna break down. You I would. Leave. I would be torn in the situation, honestly, because I, I am denied, denied, denied. You don't got the facts. But, um, yeah, but if he really does have the facts, I would want to tell the truth. But, I mean, moving forward in a relationship, like, he's going to hang that over your head. Like, yeah, he you cheated. You got to give that man a chance. You don't know. You I mean, of course, I'm going to give the chance because I want to move forward in my relationship. Yeah. But that's and never going to die. Like, that situation is never yeah, going to die. I mean, that's I don't think that's necessarily say. true because y'all are thinking so young-minded. And I'm not even that old. What I'm trying to say is when you make... For example, there's a lot of people in this world who has come clean about cheating and their relationship got better as time went on. Is it going to be hard? Yeah. How long? I don't know. It could be six months. It could be five years. But it's your job and your duty to make up. See, this is where people fuck up when they cheat. They cheat. They lie, they deny, they get caught, and then they still lie, or they're forced to come clean, and then you know what happens? They try to work it out, but because you've been lying when I gave you the opportunity to be honest, it will never work out. I agree with you. But if you keep that shit 100, when, it's, when push comes to shove and your back is against the wall, and you just be honest about this shit, they, they might leave you. Yes, it's a big reality, but guess what? If that person stays with you, after you told them that you cheated on them, that person is really fucking rocking with you. Because for me to stay with you and I know you cheated with me, cheated on me, I got to really care about you to on a different type of level. Okay, to be honest, I feel like the only way a relationship can move forward, no hanging over the head, we really, really solidly going to try to work this out is if there was no evidence. You came to me because you felt guilty in your head and said, this is what I did. I cheated. Can we, can you forgive me? And can we move forward? If you had to wait until someone else found evidence in the first place to confess to cheating, how was that ever? How are we moving on from that? Listen, when you because cheat you, because if I didn't have evidence, you were never going to tell me and we were going to continue this relationship with you doing what you did. And I can't fully trust but you. But here's the thing. You lose all power. You cheated. And like Rico said, we're all saying, if you're trying to move forward, you got to just take that on the chin. You can't look there and say that, oh, my God, 
If you don't have evidence, if you did have evidence, look, you lose that. And if you don't want to lose that, then leave. Leave the relationship. Don't do it. But you can't sit there and, like, give them the ultimatum. Like, he's like, yo, like, I have proof. Or he's hinting at it. At least put the man out of his misery. If you care that much, you at least give him that much grace to at least let him process it. But you holding in line to their face, you will never, ever, ever get that friendship back, get that person back. That's what we're saying. And... That's fucked up. But do you understand that Oliver, like, once you understand a woman, you're gonna understand everything. Women cheat with emotion. No, women you don't, can't say all women. A lot of most, most not of if them. not if most women. I never cheated, and I did not have some type of emotion to the other dude. Most women go into cheat with emotion, and I know for a fact there's men that could go outside in a corner, do what they do, never speak to homegirl again, and they are fine. So when a man looking at a, wo- a woman, like, oh, damn, you cheated on me, he's not just thinking you, he knows an emotion, he knows you attached to this other dude. So it's a lot for a woman, it's more of the, it's more on the line for me, but admitting to cheating than you admit to cheating. Women are very forgiving. Oh, I'm gonna forgive you, but men, they will forgive you and make you go to and hell. that's what I said, you lose that power. Once you lose that power, you got you can't worry about that. You can't worry about who's more forgiven or not. You lose that right. You lose that right to worry about that. But that's what I'm saying. At the end of the day, I already messed up. I already cheated. You know what I'm saying? You and tell I, him. I, I already you cheated and I already him. hurt you. I, I already been disrespectful. If worse comes to worse, this is, when I go into cheating, I know the consequences. Yeah. So yeah, but no. not yo, honestly, I, can't do I cheated on a girl because she kept accusing me for cheating. What? Well, that doesn't that. make any sense. I'm glad nah, you said that. That's such an old school line. She, she yeah. kept accusing me for. She kept accusing me for cheating, and that's I was when like, you were supposed to make her feel secure. No, I did. Or but, if you feel like that's no, too much, no, then you don't listen, need to be well. The thing yeah, is, I agree. I would just no. Mean. The thing is, I listen, and this it goes back to what I said before. Every time I got into another platform in my life. The girl that I was with got insecure because the attention and everything grew. So when I got out of high school, we were dating for two years, and now I'm playing college football, and I'm starting as a freshman, and I got all the entire school behind me. She thought I was cheating on her, and I really wasn't. So then the fights never stopped. The arguments never stopped. So you know what I did? I said, you know what? I'm going to make you right. You want me to be a cheater so bad? I'll be a cheater for you. You've been wanting to and cheat. So, no, I didn't want to cheat. No funny shit. I, I did like not want to cheat. Yeah, girl, I too did too not want to cheat. So what ended up happening was she's like, "Fine, if you're gonna go cheat, then buy it. It's over." So you, like, you, you, you I buy. All you had to right? do was leave that girl. But, was that's too. but listen, yeah, like, the more of the story. Anybody? That's my thing. No, I wasn't. No, I was not entertaining nobody. I was taking eighteen college credits college credits as a biology major playing college football. And if anybody that knows that playing college football is average over 45 hours a week that you're dedicated to a sport, not including school. I didn't even have time to sleep. I mean, time to cheat. I didn't even have time to sleep. I was sleeping four hours a night. I don't give a fuck about pussy right now. I'm trying to go to the league. And you're over here bickering and, and bitching because bitches, are, uh, Instagram just started and bitches are trying to say, hey, I can't wait to see you at your game. They're all watching me. There's 30,000 people oh, in there. Okay, well, that's insecure. So, insecure so, that so now, when I said, I'm going to make you right, she said, I'm leaving. So she left. I went and I fucked four bitches. And then she tried to come back. She said, did you go fuck a bitch? I said, I went and fucked four bitches. Do you want to oh, stay or do you want to go? Cheating? She, she was. But like, here's the thing. I knew, I knew she was no, going to be. That she, she but, was. But I she knew she was going to be went. back. So like, to me, if you break oh, up with me cheating. and I know we're going to get back together, oh, that's still cheating pity, me. It was a pity breakup. It was exactly. like, I'm so leaving, but I'll talk to you. But I'm still not leaving. Yeah. I wasn't cheating. So, so yeah. I still count it as cheating because you feel me at the end of the day. It was not official. official. There's no, and I know you're going to be back. And I know I'm going to take you oh, back. Yeah, yeah. You feel me? I did that before. But after that I did like that, white lie. after I did that, you know, we got back together. And then I realized what other pussy was like. So I was like, now nah, you got to go because now I want new pussy. So, it's, so it's over. Being back to what we're trying to say is that, like, this is what I think. And, and Crystal, you could piggyback off of it. Danny, right? When you're lying about something that is already kind of like factual, Mm -hmm. that is a level of disrespect that is unforgiving for most, if not all men. And probably, probably women, but I can't speak for women. Because the disrespect that you can look me dead in my eyes and still lie to me knowing that I know that's that like I that's something I can't ever get over because now. I could never trust you on your word. 
Your actions could be fucked up from time to time, but I can't trust you on your word, which is worse. And it shows us your character as a person. And then it makes me question everything else. Was this relationship ever real? Yeah, because we don't see answer, all actions. Ahead. Like, but if you got to trust people on their word, especially if that's your spouse, that's your that's partner, you because I can't be walking behind you, finding 24/7. evidence 24-7. Exactly. So I got to believe what you're telling me. Okay, I get it. It's Are something you? I'm working on. Um, it's just like people's, we all different, but I just feel like even by cheating is already being disrespectful. And I just feel like when I cheat is for different reason. And it's kind of like, just because I cheated, not because I don't love you. If I love you, I can't, I can't hurt you. I can't watch you being hurt. Do you agree that cheating is a selfish act? Yes or no? I mean, it, it, I would say cheating is selfish. All right. So you, so how do you bring love into that? Because you said, I love you, I'm going to lie to you, but you're doing man, something selfish. come on, man. Like, we, we're done with this conversation. Okay, like, oh, now we're done. Yeah. Now we're done. No, we're no, done. no, this no, we're no, 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 Okay, so I, re I respect where you're coming from because you're being real. You know what I'm saying? Like, really? It's, she's being real. No, she, what I'm saying is she's being real. Like, she's not going to go tell that person she's um, tell him that she's cheating because she doesn't want to be selfish. She don't want to be selfish to that person because at the end of the day, if you're still trying to stay with him or still continue with him, you tell it. Is, oh, it's selfish, but I feel like it's more selfish to break that person down and then continue to try to go in their life. I, that's just me. Like, so I feel like if you're gonna try to continue to go in that person's life, the way where, where you're coming from, you just being real. Like, you don't want to hurt them. You know, you're gonna try to come back. You know, you're gonna continue to express your emotions. So you gotta, you know, you just gotta. I guess cheat respectfully. I, but I'll tell you this. I had so much hope for you. <laughs> I know. I had so much hope. I got, listen, I'm just going off of her perspective. Me, for me in general, like just uh -huh. talking off of me, like I respect where she's coming from because you guys never heard that, like um, telling someone you cheated is more selfish than like. No, I've never I've, heard honestly, that. Honestly, I've talked to people and they say telling someone that Stop you cheated. Stop talking to those people. Yes. Don't talk to them no more. <laughs> All right, whatever. Just, like, go, just to go off of me, right? Just go off of me. I feel mm -hmm. like. Cheating, like, for me, it just depends. Like, are we locked in? Did we say, like, yo, we're dating, you're my person? Or are yo, we just, the like... the way y'all are moving this goalpost is ridiculous. But okay. I feel like cheating is cheating when you actually have committed, like, listen, we are this these people together. And that's what it is. But if you're just walking through life and you're just, like, tugging a person around, you're not really telling them, like, oh, like, listen, you my woman, when we walk in a room, this is what it is. Like, or if when we I'm go anywhere. Man, if I'm your man, are you cheating on me? Did you tell me you're my man? Well, Oliver, we agree. Yes, we are in a that's relationship. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. That's so, what, but, no, but when I'm talking about a real you, relationship, just, Crystal, yes. we're not talking about the guy that you, we're not talking about Bob that you're stringing no, on our dates. No, I'm not saying that. Okay, okay so you're like saying right cheating. now, you are my girlfriend. I'm your boyfriend. Okay. What else do you need? What I was trying to get out is a lot of, like, Right now, in 2021, there's a lot of people that are just dating. Like, they're dating yes. openly, and That's they're not, not committing. About. That's not what we're talking about. We, we gave 6,000 scenarios. Proof of cell phone. You was like, well, is it Verizon or is it T-Mobile? Okay, all right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 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 okay. The okay. right. clear scenario. All right, the clear scenario. Is it blue bubble or green bubble? Listen, doesn't matter. It's proof is in the pudding. I'm joking. No, because it. if it's a green and bubble, fake text. That was not me. You know what? I it just, wasn't me. I, mm -hmm. I give up. Rico, you Yo, can go ahead. I'll be honest with you. Like, I'll be honest with you. Women are if, toxic. A, if a girl cheated on I'm me. Not toxic. I'm and just saying, if you're, not, if you're not telling me, if we're not distinguishing this, and I guess we already distinguished it, but I'm just like opening it up because it's very, it can be very complicated. Okay, I'll give you that. Yo, I, people watching, I watched a movie. Okay. I watched a, uh, a show yesterday or two days ago called Clickbait, right? Mm -hmm. I don't know if you guys saw it. No, I, I heard that. about everybody talking about it. All right, it. so I'm not going to spoil it. No, but, you can go ahead. But there's a, there, in the beginning, the woman who's a professor, cheats on her husband, right? And she cheats on her husband with another coworker, uh, teacher, a colleague, right? So she actually just comes clean to him. Fire. And then, you know, it had, they have problems in a relationship, but he stays. They actually, like, he was broken for a minute, but then, you know, it shows that they're trying to gradually work through something. Because the level of respect that I have for somebody who comes up to me and... and, and I'm not saying that I could 100% take a woman back immediately when she cheats on me, but I guarantee you this, there is a possible second chance for that girl. Versus the lie. Possible. If you lie to me in my face and I know you're fucking lying, you have zero 
zero chance of ever coming back into my life. I would never look out for you. I would never help you. I would never speak to you or be around you or want to. Now, if you come to me and say, yo, look, you know, six months ago, this has been weighing in on me and such and such happened and you just come clean. Or if I ask you and you come clean, I'm going to respect you more. I might be hurt at that moment. Don't get me wrong, but I respect you more going forward. And I don't know how long that looks like, but you have a possible second chance. Six versus, months though? I mean, like, if, like if you, no, if you listen, cheated if you on me a year ago, two years like, ago, it doesn't matter. I know matter. you cheated on me. I know you did this. I'm going to be like, yeah. Like, I'm. that's just me, though. I know. So with all this being said, I just feel like, you know, a woman could handle a lie and sometimes be preferring to be lied to. And a man isn't. Like, we just can't. Even if it's going to kill us, we rather just know the truth. You know what I'm saying? That's how we are. Like, I had this one old head that used to come to my job at Apple back in the day. And I used to help him with his one-on-ones. And he was telling me how he broke up with his young girlfriend. And I was like, why? He was like, because she didn't know that she needed to be lied to. And I said, well, how did you know that she needed to be lied to? He said, because when we first met, I asked her, how do you want me to treat you? She said, like a princess. And he goes, so she automatically was lying to herself that she was a princess and that she should be treated like a princess. So I had to lie to her constantly. And then when she caught my lies, she got mad. So I broke up with her. So like, it's crazy because I just feel like sometimes we go into this, we go into this realm where we want certain things and don't realize that it's a fantasy. And then when the truth attacks it, women, I feel like they don't like that. But when the truth attacks a man's fantasy, it hurts us. We take a step back. We reassess the situation and then we decide how forward we're going to go with this. I don't know what y'all think. I feel like I don't agree with that all the way. You I don't, don't agree with me? I don't. You better stop that it. That is not a surprise. Was, what you think? <laughs> no, I only don't agree because I feel like women don't necessarily like to be lied to. I just feel like. We expect cheating from guys more than you expect cheating from us. So when you guys hear that we cheat, y'all butt hurt. So we kind of try to save y'all from that. We expect <laughs> you, 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 y'all be butt hurt. Don't 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 cut her off. Should I finish? So because woman, not me per se, because I've never really had to deal with cheating. But I know a lot of women, they <laughs> find out their man is cheating. You know, they assess, they forgive, and then they move on. It's kind of the opposite than that what Rico was saying. Nah, because they were already expecting to be lied to. But that's the thing, Rico. This is this is the ugly truth with, with this whole cheating thing. You get what I'm saying? Men cheats. For the most part, you know your man gonna go outside, she gonna he gonna see a fat ass and he's gonna get excited. You get what I'm saying? He we all know that. But as women, we also know like when he comes home, he pays the bills, he takes care of us. He like he might you might you might just have sex with this random girl. You don't give two fuck about her. But when you come home, you're making sure like if my father's in the hospital, you pulling up. You know what I'm saying? The rent is paid. Everything is secure. Women want security. They know their man is outside doing some type of, you know, like a, a, a man might say beautiful woman is next to his wife and his thing was like, damn, that's a beautiful woman. We are expecting men to be men as women. It's not that we like lying like Amanda said. We don't like that, but we're already expecting that. Mm -hmm. But men shows love differently. A man that loves his woman going to take care of his woman, going to make sure his woman is straight. Yeah, a man might have sex with another girl, but that doesn't mean he doesn't love me. Why do you think the way you do? That, I, do I think the way I do because I have two male best friends, and they used to literally rent out Airbnbs, have sex with other girls and all this stuff and never call them back and never cared about them. No, not two people. I, no, I'm very observant. I see how men act with other women. I see, I see so many men with relationship cheats and not care about women. When women, when I cheat, I, I have emotion all over. When my homegirl cheat, she got emotion all over. You get what I'm saying? So it's a very, it's very understanding. A man is not as forgiving as a woman gonna forgive a man that cheats. But believe me, you wanna go tell your man you cheated? Good luck. How would you feel, because you love your father. Mm -hmm. How would you feel if a woman that your father was madly in love with was constantly lying to his face and you were providing your dad 
facts, but he was not accepting them because he was believing a person that was lying to his face. Mm -hmm. How would you feel for your father? Because I know that's the closest male to you. So picture everything that you're doing to this man or these men that you did, somebody doing that to your father. All right, so how would I feel about my father being cheated on? And I know about it, and I, his woman is being manipulated. I will feel like she's a very respectful woman. I'm not care. I'm not, seriously, this is my whole thing, Alan. Men can't handle the truth. Women can. So I'm not going to sit there and tell a man, oh, I'm cheating on you or have sex with another man. Because men look at women as like virgins, as as a prize. Women got a higher standard to, to, to maintain than men. Everything you do, oh, man, you're just a man. This is why every woman in this panel be like, well, I got to tell the truth because we know how men get. I know how men get. I know I seen a man would never look at me the same if I openly be like, oh, you know what? I just was doing this and I was doing that. And this so why not try to break that cycle, right? Because this is, remember, like we said, we somebody's watching this. We took them all the way up, right? So now we're trying to patch them back up. I get it. Society looks at women as supposed to be perfect. Great. But why not, you know what? We're not perfect. We are flawed. Why not break that cycle? Why not be truthful and say, you know what? I like to lie. Or I lied because I saw my daddy and, do it. My, like, and I get it. But the why, thing is, you, but wait, you want why, to... But you why want me to, put that picture of your perfect? Because you, you know what you said? Mm -hmm. I'm not going to tell... Like, you dated me. I'm not going to tell Oliver that I'm cheating. So now you're trying to reinforce that you're a good girl. You're really not. Just tell the but truth. But it's not even about being a good girl. I think you you Change want, the narrative. Okay, I, I care okay, that much I about can't, Oliver. That... I, can't, I can't be honest with a man. But that's the thing, Alan. Once I decided to cheat already, I'm a bad woman. Once no, you're I... a bad woman for continuing. Okay, okay but like, for that's what I'm continuing. saying. No, yeah, because that's we're not what we're talking about. I mean, I mean, the lying part. I mean, continuing okay, the lie. That's okay, what I meant, the okay, lie, the I lie, can't the be, lie. I can't be honest for the man because I just feel like he's never going to look at me the same. Okay. So he's never going to do that. And that's in my head, and that's never going to change. That doesn't make you a good woman. And that, I am a good woman. No. Just, if, I know if I tell you the truth, how are you going to treat me after? Oh, so you're saying, oh, so Alan, you're saying an open relationship is an honest relationship. That's all it is? Yes. So you're saying the fact that I can't come up, be in front with a man that I'm dealing with, be like, Yo, you know what? That's another man I, I be cheating on you with. You don't even have to go that detail. You don't even have to. You don't have to say I'm cheating with. If you're going to do open relationship, you bring that to the table in the beginning, right? Hey, I'm Danny. I want open relationship. That's honesty. Mm -hmm. Then he do what he want. He wants with that. Cool. Let's say you believe in monogamy, and somewhere along the road you decided to cheat. Let's still perpetuate the honesty. Yes, it hurts. That that road hurts. It hurts more. But at least you're honest. You gave him an option because you care about him. Now, if you're choosing to lie, you're only caring about you. You're perpetuating this false narrative that you're a good woman because once he finds out, which he will, you're going to look worse. And you worried about what he'll do to you, then it's almost like you, I'm not saying he agrees to like, I'm not saying he should put hands on you or scream at you, but if that man cursed you out or let's say he was paying the bills and cut you off, you could have saved that by saying, you know what? I messed up. So I live in that doesn't up. make her not a good woman. Yes. No, it makes her not as honest. That's good messed woman. up. No, honest good woman is umbrella. Good. I mean, dishonesty doesn't go with good. I know, no, but let's, 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 let's just dishonest. say something. You, right, so she's a dishonest she woman. She's not a, okay, because you could still be a, like, Regardless of what her situation is, because I'm still trying to defend. You're talking about relationship. I'm trying to defend. No, 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 no. I'm not trying to defend. I'm trying to distinguish the difference. No, no, no. And I'm a kid. There's no difference. What is a good woman? What is a good woman? What's a good woman? Let's keep it in a relationship. An honest woman. Let's keep it in a relationship. I see what you're about to do. We're talking about a good woman in a guidelines. No, because I see what you're going to do. Because you like to ask about T-Mobile and Verizon. We're going to keep it in this box. But I'm going to keep it in relationship box and what a relationship entails. Honesty, trying to make things work when the going get tough, all of that in a relationship umbrella. As a good woman in a relationship. relationship. Yeah. If Danny cheats and she lies about it and lies about it, she's not a good woman for this relationship. She's not a good woman for the relationship. I didn't say Danny save a cat the other day. Yes, Danny, thank you for saving this cat. Thank you for saving the old lady. But relationship-wise, she's not a good girlfriend. Wait, 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 she's wait, not wait, a wait, good wait. wife. Oliver, let me tell you That's something. It. Oliver, let, let's just say I'm with you. We're together, yes. right? You sick, I'm here. You oh. lay off work, I'm here. You come home, there's food on the table. It's clean. All I did was a little cheating. You think I don't love you? <laughs> 
Come on, man. Leave me alone. Benny, I yo, you said no. We said good. Yo, you're Benny, you're not yo, listening. Wait, stop. I said it. Can I just, can I just, can I just, can I just, can I can I ask you? Can Yo. I just? Can I give you a recommendation? <laughs> Did I question? Can I, be, can I just honestly give you a recommendation? Okay. But maybe, maybe, maybe the way you're thinking is not technically wrong, right? But the way you're thinking is not for a monogamous relationship. So it is wrong for a monogamous relationship. So after everyone's response, intensity, and hearing. You know how we all feel about cheating and relationships. The lies. And the lies. The dishonesty. And the dishonesty. The disloyalty. The disloyalty. The lack of respect. The lack of respect. Mm. Do we think that it should be acceptable in society in this day and age to ask for it to be open in a relationship? Before if you're Danny. <laughs> yeah. Before you guys decide to close it and be committed to each other. Yes, I agree. I agree. Because at the end of the day, I don't want to be honest because I don't want to lose the person that I <laughs> Yo, love. That's crazy. What? No. <laughs> Yo, I don't want to be honest because I don't want to lose the person I love. But the person that you love, listen, karma is fucking real, Danny. And the person that, you're lo that you love is going to leave you regardless. But we, we that's the thing. It. You see, honestly, Yo, you, you know, as a man, you know, as a man, even though if we never say anything, we can sense when you step out. A woman too. That's not what I'm saying. I don't care about that, right? <laughs> I'm talking about right now the men that that you're talking about. You would cheat on and lie to his face. You don't think that he doesn't fucking know? But you think you, that's the thing? I'm just messed up in the head. Think about it. <laughs> you're that, honest. No, you're no, very honest. That I'm, was honest. No, but I like I'm, that. I'm messed up in the head because at the end of the day, just like I want to tell my men that. I, cheat, I cheated on him. Uh -huh. He don't got to tell me either. He don't got to tell me. Don't let me find out. If you're going to cheat, do it on me. Don't let me know. And I'm good with that. If, if you do find out, what you going to do? I'm curious. I'm, I, I could forgive. It's, to me, that's the thing. Where the, the whole problem comes from because to me, I look at... How about the lie? I'm talking about the lie. You could forgive the lie. I could for, the only problem with me, the problem why I could forgive people when it comes to stepping out, because to me, sex is just No, sex. I said the lie, the lie, the lie. You the can lie. You forgive the lie. Man, everybody lie. You, 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 not, you not God? I know I'm not. Are you God? No, <laughs> and I've been honest. You so you can forgive the so lie. Danny, yes, why don't you? Why does it mean it's right, Danny? So, no, Danny's being honest. No, I give her credit. She can forgive a guy I lie. I can forgive him if Yo, lying. listen, Danny. No, 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 I want to go to lie. And, and, and lie. Okay, that's the lies. thing. That, I, I know you can forgive me, one time cheating. I'm talking confused, about lies. Y'all confused, though. To me, love is somebody you take care of. Make sure that person is good. Okay, that's that person version. is not going to be homeless. You know? Like, no, that's that's, that's what love okay. is to me. Okay. So for me, if somebody step out and they, they're doing their stuff clean and they still give me my time, if I can be with you seven times a day and you still find time to cheat in your sleep, uh -huh. go ahead. So, I mean, at the end of the day, what I'm going to say, and this is just what I believe, I believe that every relationship, monogamous relationships, owes their partner an opportunity at the truth. And then their partner is up to them if they're going to allow them to give them time to bounce back or talk things over or try to fix it. But at the end of the day, when you're going to be lying and consistently lying and consistently lying, then you don't deserve a second chance. I believe everybody deserves a second chance as long as you can admit to your mistakes. That's just my own personal belief. It depends on the relationship. If it's very new, some people might not be with it. But I think especially relationships that you have a lot of time and memories invested in, you owe them the truth. And hopefully they find you worthy enough for a second chance. But going online, it's not the wave. So for me, I know I said that I would not confess to cheating. Um, and I just really feel like when it comes to like conflict, confrontation, I'm very quiet and reserved. Like I don't like to say much. And especially when it comes to having to admit to something that I did that was wrong, I kind of try to save face. So I wouldn't want to tell the truth. Uh, I believe, yeah, it's hard for me to be honest about something wrong that I did. Uh, but the truth will set you free. It's the best option, to be honest, if you want to continue in a good relationship with a person that you really care about. Yep, all lonely. All right. I know a lot of people probably don't agree with what I said, but I just feel like as a woman, you should never confess to cheating because men can handle the truth. And being honest 
only gonna make you more lonely and menless. If you wanna be menless, go ahead. As a woman, if you wanna deny, 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 even if you get caught in the act, just say it's your twin sister or you're getting raped, do never, do not ever confess to cheating. It's just dumb. You know, just put in your head, I will never do it again. I'm gonna do right by my man. Like, just stop dealing with the dude. If you feel this bad about it, just stop dealing with this man you're dealing with and go back to your man. But don't go confess to your man, even if he got proof, unless it's like, just deny it. If 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 he gotta leave you, just let him leave you. Until uh, yeah, yeah, get him confused. Get him confused yeah. to the point where he's like, oh damn, maybe she was telling the truth. Let me go back to her. But don't ever confess to cheating because you only gonna end up by yourself. Just fix yourself. If you wanna stay with your man, fix yourself and just be like, oh listen, I'm not gonna do this again. And that's that. Crystal. Honestly, I feel like the truth doesn't change. It depends on the relationship that you're in. So you have to know when you're in an open relationship or when you're in a closed relationship. So at the end of the day, you got to know when to hold and fold your cards. And you have to know if the, the relationship that you're in if, is the type of relationship that you want to be in. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. My take is be honest. Be honest if your partner has the proof. Be honest. You know what? Yes, I did cheat. If you end up losing your partner, so be it. You already lost that right when you stepped out. So everything is a gamble. I do believe in being honest. It doesn't go far with the lies on top of lies on top of lies on top of the lies. So <laughs> thank you for watching A to the Table. Please like and subscribe on our YouTube channel, especially Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, Instagram. Keep watching. Thank you.